hoping <laughs> to show you how to use the new poly paint tools. So I'm gonna um, gonna look for a sphere three D to start us off with. Three D rooting sphere three D. Lost it. <laughs> sphere three D. Initialize it. 32-33 which you will have seen in the mushroom tutorial drag it out press edit shift to square it up then go to the new Z plugin sculpty tools thing click make poly mesh and we end up with a correctly formatted thing for second life now we want to go to geometry and divide it up a lot about five will do the more polys you've got the better the poly paint works um, I'm gonna change it from matte cap wax to reflective plastic so it's a bit easier to see the paint on I'm going to poly paint click colorize which will let us poly paint turn Z add off and turn RGB on very good even blue pick a color fingers crossed we should be poly painting Da, 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 we're poly painting and you can just freehand draw on here with a weighted ease there we go uh, once you've got that cracked it's just changing paint and the like uh, we've also got the new light box to have a play with if we open that up and go to texture and pick a texture close the light box out of the way we get the new stargate thing which has got a circle in the middle where if you put your cursor in that you can move the stargate around just by dragging it and if you get your cursor between the circle and the stargate part you can move the texture around which is quite cool um, you've got a, few, a whole bunch of tools around the outside edge I won't go into all of them what I do is click on this spotlight one which opens up a spotlight. You can probably just about see it in the background. Um, it kind of it's like shining a torch on the object with the, the thing showing. You've got bigger and smaller, which you can grab and do left and right to, to change the, with this new tool. Um, you press Z on the keyboard to start painting. You should be able to see the shadow of what you're trying to draw on the thing. And then you just draw in on it. If you make your brush bigger, you can cover more of this thing at once, which is pretty fab. You can get a lot of detail. If you, if you, if you, the higher the resolution of your picture or the more polygons you've got on the thing, the better it will look. The other great tool is this drawing pin picture. Lousy picture, but it's the drawing pin. If you click that, then you press Z again. The the picture is kind of in a fixed position and will move. So you can. Uh, repeat parts of the pattern all over the, the thing if that's clear I don't know press Z again to bring up the thing in, you've got to rotate so you can turn your whole texture around, so if I drag this over here where there's a line you better see we can draw like a line here and move it across and draw another line on beautiful photo detail which is cool as anything to turn it off, the way I've found to turn it off is you go to the texture window on the left and there's an on off button over here. There's probably another way to do that, but I ain't found it. <laughs> the next cool feature we have is layers. If you click layers, it's just a bit like Photoshop. There's a new layer button, uh, which will make that layer. Click it again, you end up with a whole new layer. So we pick a different color and then we're drawing on the top of it. Squidge, squidge, squidge. Now, just like in Photoshop, there are faders, so you can fade the opacity of things up and down, which is brilliant. And you, you can move the layers up and down. You can bake them all into into one um, thing, or you can delete them if if you don't want them. Go back to where we started. Uh, just to remind you, the way to get a texture out of ZBrush and into Photoshop is you click texture map then new from poly paint and your texture will appear in a little window window down here 
then you hit clown texture which fires it over to the other side then if you hit texture up at the top then flip vertical gets it the right way up for second life and then you're then you're exporting um, and it'll save it as a photoshop file um, a bitmap or whatever that's all you need to know um, thanks for listening see you later I'm Filthy Adored, <laughs> your host. <laughs>